Welcome class to the new unit that we're in. We are now in a unit called statistics and probability, which means we're done with functions and all that other stuff we've been dealing with, the transformations, all that good stuff. We're going to come back and review that later on, so before we finish the class. But we're moving into our statistics and probability. And the first thing we're going to deal with is the thing called permutation and combination. And hopefully you've seen this before, but if not, then we're just going to make sure we understand how to do this because it's going to show up on that final exam. So before we move into permutation combination, I found out in the past years that the next part people haven't seen before, or they just don't know what it is, or they might have seen it once and that was it. So let's go into this next part. And we are talking about a thing called n factorial. And n factorial, or the n with the exclamation mark, is the product of n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times all these numbers until you get down to 3 times 2 times 1. So if you need to stop the video to write that down really quickly, stop it because I'm moving forward. So here, the word product that we have, product means multiplication. So each one of these numbers are being multiplied. And it might still not make sense at all what's going on because you've never seen it before. But I'm going to show you this and you're going to be like, oh my gosh, it's so easy. It's like almost like summation. Because it is. It's almost like summation. All right, so when it comes to, let's say, 5 factorial, all you're doing is you're starting with the number they give you, and you go down until you get to number 1. So you start with 5, then times 4, times 3, times 2, times 1. So you start again at the number they give you, which is 5, start there, and you go all the way down until you get to the number 1. You always end at 1. And let me write that here. Always end at 1. So you're not going to end it anywhere else. It's always going to end at 1. Every time. So here, all you have to do is just multiply that out. 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. If you do that in a calculator or you can just do it in your head, you should get 120. And that's it. That's all you got to do. That's all that's going on. That's n factorial. That's 5 factorial. All right, so let's go with 11. Okay, again here, we start with the number 11, and we go down until we get to number 1. So 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So we start at 11 and we go all the way until we get down to number 1. And again, you can put this in the calculator, do 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And you should get an answer of 39 million, uh, 916,800. So when you put all that in the calculator and multiply it out, you should get that answer. Okay, and then let's try one more. 10 factorial. Now, 10 factorial is going to come back into play a lot over the um, time. So, oops, didn't want to show you that. Yep. Didn't want to show you that part. Yep. All right, so here, 10 factorial. What we're going to do on this one, I'm going to show you how to do it in the calculator because if it just says to solve it out, all you have to do is just put in the calculator and get an answer. But if it says to expand and solve, you have to actually write it out like we just did there with the 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. That's the expanding part. And then the actual number is um, the answer. So again, this is your expand part. And that's these, just the answer right there. All right, so again, with this, let's show you in the calculator how to do it. So here, we know we have 10. It's called 10 factorial. So we're going to put the number 10 in first off. And then everything that we really need is, to, is in math. Summation was in math. Pretty much everything is in math. So, math, we're going to hit the math button. So, that button right there, math, math. Go to the left, because we're talking about probability. So, PRB, so that's PRB right there, PRB, probability. So, we're going to go down to we get to number four, the factorial. And then just hit enter. And we get the, what, 3,628,800. So if I say to expand it, make sure you show me this part like what we had in blue and the red up there with the, um, the when we did 5 factorial and we did, um, oh my gosh, 5 factorial and 11 factorial. 
And if it says just solved, all you do is just do the 10 factorial at the bottom. And again, we talked about what E means. So if that ever shows up in a calculator, you should know what, how, what to do with that by now. You should know how to deal with it because we talked about it a couple of times now. All right. And that's it.